Hi everybody, welcome back again to Astro AF. I'm doing a follow-up video right away to uh, my breakdown uh, Star Tracker rig. So this is actually going to be a comparison video to the ASI Air Pro and the Eagle Core. So there are some key differences between these two units that are going to most likely sway you in which direction you're going to go for purchasing each of these. Um, I originally bought the uh, Prima Luce Labs Eagle Core to control my DSLR and I have these set up in relativity to uh, what they control. Um, so this this unit is, is actually uh, a fantastic unit. It's a little, it's got, it, I shouldn't say little, it's got a quite a big learning curve to this thing. As you can see, it's got an, a Wi-Fi antenna, so I can actually control this thing within my house. So my wife and I can, you know, be watching a movie or something uh, while she sleeps on the couch. And I can, I can control this thing from, from inside and, and still be able to enjoy being in, inside while I'm doing, enjoying outside as well. Uh, so uh, another few kind of key things here are they have very uh, product specific ports on here. You can control dew heaters, you can control, uh, you've got your USBs, your ST4 port, uh, you've got, yeah, you've got three USBs here, uh, one SD4 port, and then you've got your, uh, your power in, and then you've got three power outs. Uh, so you can control just about anything up until your actual uh, mount. Now, if you wanted to actually plug your um, star tracker, if you're, if you're losing a little power, you can plug that in here if you've got enough space. You plug in your uh, auto guide into this. You can plug in your, uh, like I said, your dew heaters. You plug in your hand controller if you're using like an AVX mount or something like that. Um, this unit can also broadcast its own, like you can use your own guiding software. So if you're going to use, say, PHD2 uh, for, you know, intermediate users, you know what that is? PHD2 is a guiding specific software that you would use with, uh, along with APT, uh, which is another uh, control software that you would actually just use on your computer. You can use this through your phone too. They've got an internet-based app uh, through a web page that is address specific uh, to your unit. And that is a, that's how you actually control this. So this, is, this unit's really good for controlling your DSLR they, you can control your, up until a, uh, I believe in a ZW ASI 120mm uh, for a guide camera, but this cannot control a ZW camera for actual shooting. That's where I ran into an issue because I had also purchased this guy. This is an ASI 183mm Pro the monochrome camera that I was telling you about um, earlier. So this is a completely different kind of camera than a DSLR. Uh, this is this is astrophotography specific. Um, you can't just use this for any. Well, I mean, you can if you're if you know what you're doing. I don't know enough about that to to know or to tell you about that. Um, but that's, that's the issue that I ran into. That's why I had to purchase this. The ZWO's ASAI Air Pro can control this. And it's actually got its own app, two apps actually, SharpCath and the ASAI Air Pro app. Uh, that also can, you have four outputs you can, uh, camera goes in number one, you can control dew heaters, you have a one USB 3 uh, port, you have 
two USB 2 uh, ports. You can hook up auto guide. Um, I have not gotten into as far as uh, the rest of what this can do, mainly because I'm, I'm really just trying to get the hang of using this guy. Uh, you can control all of your cooling, uh, since this has a fan in it, uh, all of that, your gain, everything. I'm still trying to figure that out, so bear with me on this one. I would still give this, you know, five out of five stars. Same, th same thing with this. Both of these units are fantastic in what they do. You can control a DSLR with this. I have not gotten to that point. It cable specific. Um, since I have both units, I'm really just bouncing back and forth between the two because I want to be able to actually use the gear I have. I don't want to just throw one in a bin and you know let it collect dust. So um, along with that, let's go back to the Eagle Corp. There's this guy. Kind of forgot about him. The Sesto Senso 2. Now this fantastic little device is an autofocuser. And when it also runs off Wi-Fi, connected to the Eagle Core, and actually hooks up to where remember where that little guy was? This slides right on there. Boop, like that. And that allows you to control the focus of your telescope or lens or whatever you have connected to it automatically. You can set it yourself. You can zoom it in back and forth, get exactly the focus you want in the microns, not turning the knob like back and forth, back and forth. You just do, 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 do. And that is fantastic. I love it. Every little bit of it. So that's a lot of the time that I have right now for my short videos. Uh, if you have any questions about any of this, please feel free to let me know. And I'll see you shortly.